How to create 3D particles. Hi, I'll be guiding you today in 3D particle creation. Check out the particle room's 3D selection. Not too many, you can make more. Explore the 2D particles available first. Select one. In Particle Designer, select Modify Parameters. Scroll to Enable 3D Depth and activate. Alter the slider. Between 24 and 31 is OK. Select Save As. Enter a new 3D name. Check out the new custom particle. Place the 3D Clover template in Particle Designer. Click in each numbered object. I'm looking to see how the particle was made. Looking closely at the design. Selecting the Particles Drawing Pencil icon displays the Emit options. Enable 3D Depth is selected. Select Create a New Particle Object. <laughs> we have a task to perform first. Using a green card, some flowers and my video camera, I snap some photos. We're going to create some particles. I call up my image editor. I'll need a new file, the same size as the photo, with a transparent background. Using a magic tool to highlight sections, I copy from one to the other. I'm gradually building the flower. No green background wanted. I use zoom to check everything. Saving the new file as a ping PNG file. Bring the new file back into the image editor. Select the transform tool. It'll highlight around the image. Next, copy the new particle image to a smaller transparent ping file. Save and close the file. Repeat the process to create more ping images. We have now our blank canvas to create a particle. Jump straight to item 3 to add a particle. Select the Add button. Locate and add the custom particles just created. Continue to add more. Highlight and remove an unwanted particle. Eight particles is the maximum. Click, hold and drag and the emit object can be repositioned. Scroll down and make changes. With each alteration, the particle preview changes. Move the slider controls or type in new figures. I'm aiming to create the right balance. The important option. Check the Enable 3D Depth. Check and tweak some more. I did. OK, we're now going to give the particle an object path. Select a path. Click and grab the path edge and then move it to where you want.
Back to item 1 and selecting the emit method. Select, test and decide. That's what I did. Bring up item 2 now, particle style. Select and test, I like the preferred option. OK, keyframes don't need to be selected to create a 3D particle. Repositioning the path I found quite effective. Keyframes are for positional redirection in Particle Designer. Keyframes can be added or removed quickly. Reposition the keyframe placements on the motion path in Particle Designer. Select Save As. Enter a suitable 3D particle name. Move the slider to create a representative thumbnail. Select 3D in the preview player to check the new 3D particle. Thank you for watching my video and it's over to you now to create a new 3D particle.